Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, I'm really happy to be back making my first video of 2022. I am really ready for a great year. I hope you are too. If you are new here, my name is Russ, and on this channel, we talk about Jeeps and all things vehicle-based adventure. So if you're into that kind of thing, stay tuned. Let's get into it. So right after we rang in the new year, my wife and I woke up to a little bit of a snowfall on the ground. So it was an absolutely gorgeous thing to wake up to. And it uh, really made me want to go and do some winter camping and some snow wheeling, but that's going to have to wait just a little bit longer. Over the break, I sent my 2015 JKU to Black Bear Off-Road in Georgia for some pretty intense upgrades. Now, I'm going to go into more detail on that with a walkthrough video in a couple of weeks, most likely but I really honestly don't feel like myself if I don't have a Jeep to drive. So I bought myself a little something. Let's go outside. <clears throat> okay, so we're outside now. I'm just gonna walk you through my garage and get straight to it. Uh, I bought the LJ, right? So I'm gonna introduce you to Gunny. Now I am going to uh, do a full walkthrough with this, way more in detail, but I figured I'd go over a couple of things that you might be interested in right off the bat. So I'm gonna flip you around and introduce you to Gunny. All right guys, well there she is. Uh, this is Gunny, uh, it's a 2005 LJ. It's about 220,000 miles on the original four liter engine. She is currently squealing like a pig and we've got an O2 sensor issue, which we're gonna work out here really shortly. Um, but a couple things you might be interested in, uh, JCR fenders front and rear, JCR bumpers front and rear, Got the Warren VR 10S winch on the front, uh, the axles and the suspension. So the axles, uh, it's a stock Dana 44 in the rear, Dana 30 in the front. They are both trussed and gusseted, uh, running 35s with Mamba wheels, which my buddy Shelby is going to be getting those wheels. And I'm going to be transferring my Terraflex Nomads uh, onto uh, the LJ here. Now, there's a whole lot more uh, to this that, um, that my buddy did since he's owned it over the last three or four years so uh, we'll like I said we'll go into a lot more detail with that um, there's it's a two inch suspension lift uh, we've got the um, rock crawler x-factor um, long arm kit uh, so what that means is it's a triangulated four link in the rear and a three link in the front um, yeah it's a really capable rig really really well built and uh, I'm not really not going to do a whole lot of changes to it. I'm just going to get the codes gone and uh, take it out and see what she's capable of doing. And it's a really great thing to have uh, an older Jeep in your life, you know. So um, stay tuned for that and uh, let's get back inside. So yeah, there's a lot coming up in the next couple of weeks and couple of months. So with the JK being gone, uh, I'm going to be wheeling the LJ for a little bit. I know that I'm going to be going to uh, the Pisgah National Forest, the uh, DuPont State Recreational Forest to do some wheeling and camping. Uh, I'm going to be going to Windrock in February to run Trail 16 uh, with my buddies from Black Bear Off-Road and the Off-Road Trail team. So yeah, I might even do some installs and uh, some uh, maybe even a cooking video. I have, I have no idea. I've got a lot of things planned out. So if you have not subscribed, go ahead and do that now. Hit the subscribe button, like, share. If you can, it would really help me out. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you're living life adventurously, and I will see you on the trail.